But a lot of weaknesses are real, and we need to be aware of them, avoid them, focus on strengths. One of my clients is a good friend now, his name is Rob. He's one of these guys that's got the, the whole alphabet of ADD and ADHD and all this stuff, <laughs> right? He's got a whole alphabet of stuff that he's been tagged with since he was at middle school. And you can send Rob to those for uh, a nut and bolt, and he'll come back with paint samples. I, 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 you know, he, that's that's <laughs> it, right? I know that. And he knows that too. But what he's done, he's also the embodiment of the power of attraction. You heard about the power, you know about the power of attraction? If you think about somebody that you know, like, and trust, they have the power of attraction, right? Rob is just like that. You know, people, people just want to hang out with him, they like his energy, they trust him, they want, they want to be with it, they suck energy off of him, I'm convinced, right? But for a long time, he let that, he, he, you know, that, he let that, that scatterbrain just kind of get in his way. He, he wasn't able to be successful. And we, we took that away. So we, that's not on you. That's it's just not your problem. We got to do assistance, right? To, to, to pick up all the pieces and take care of the job. He's aware of it and he's working around it. And we focused on the power of attraction. We focused on the strengths and his energy. And the guys just be more and more and more successful all the time. He's a sales manager now. He's just, just I mean, people just love the guy. And he came back with a with a quote. You guys, you guys remember Coach John Wooden, famous basketball coach? John Wooden said, never let what you can't do get in the way of what you can do. Famous John Wooden quote to his, to his players, never let what you can't do get in the way of what you can do. Same is true for you planning for success, right? Those things, if, if the market sucks, the market sucks. That doesn't affect me and what I choose to do today, right? Different stuff. Focus on strengths, avoid weakness. Lastly, emotional courage. This is a biggie for me in my personal journey. This is a biggie according to David in the journey of all leaders. Next level growth requires emotional courage. The only way to get it is to develop it. And we're not born with emotional courage. No one is. It's developed purposefully. Physical courage is that which is displayed by the, the people in the armed forces, right? There's a machine gun nest, and these guys and their buddies are going forward, regardless of what the consequences may be, they display physical courage. So a, a, an author or somebody like, like Martin Luther King who challenges your, your thoughts and beliefs, he's displaying intellectual courage, right? And he's challenging your thoughts and beliefs. Emotional courage is different. It's what fuels you in the song, okay? I don't have a test for emotional courage, but I have some, some thoughts on it here. And I just want to ask you some questions about it to give you some ideas of where you might be and what, what that means for you from David's book. Emotional courage picks you up when you fail. Emotional courage is what keeps you acting on your goals regardless of circumstances or what others say they can do. Emotional courage brings stability and security to business and homes. Emotional courage just takes calculated risks. Emotional courage is the fuel of the fire of positive expectancy. Emotional courage dares to dream. It's contagious. It stands tall with optimism. It faces blind spots. It says, I can improve. It faces fear with, I will win. Okay? I ask leaders and entrepreneurial people to, to rate themselves. They hear those things. Where, where am I? Do I have emotional courage or not? Right? And if, you, if you're not saying that, I'm like, I'm like a 10. I'm like that. I mean, I got that. I got that positive expectancy thing. And I got my goals. I know I'm going to achieve my goals. If, if, you're, if you're like that, congratulations and way to go. You're going to be successful in whatever you do. If you're not, if you're saying, well, I'm not so sure, I don't know, then that's danger zone. Especially if you're a business leader or a parent or an entrepreneur, you know, that's a dangerous thing. But emotional courage can be developed. It must be developed. This is not something you're born with. Now, in the book, David lays out specific steps that you can go through to develop emotional courage. And I, I don't have the time to go into those things today, but I, I've got books for you if you want them. And you can go through in that section and you can study the power of courage and you can read about how to improve that for yourself. But those, that's a big, big thing to eat in 20 minutes. But I, I'm telling you, it's critical to receive see any opportunity at next level growth. Okay? Now, 
So you've been given the power to choose. There are only two options. Remember those? So my sincere hope for you is that you would choose wisely. Right. I want to thank you and I want to thank David and the, and the other guys from today. I assume they're going to come back up and do some little wrap up. But, uh, I just want to say it's, it's a sincere and appreciated honor to have your attention and the opportunity to speak with you. I don't take that lightly. I, I enjoy it. I, I appreciate your feedback and answering questions and let me pick on you. Now, I have these books uh, from David. I have some copies here and some copies here. Uh, I trade these for a business card. Okay. Now, the, just to put some, hang some tag on my gift, you sell on Amazon for, for $9.99 for $3 shipping. That's $13.99. David negotiated with one of our vendors that does our assessments for development and leadership. And he's got a, a, a web link in the back of the book on page 108. I've got a bookmark on that page for a full-blown leadership assessment, okay? I sell that assessment for $115. So it's in the book for free. So I will, for your business card, I will trade you $128.99 <laughs> of value. Hopefully you get more value from that than the concepts in the book if you, if you study and learn. The book will take you about 90 minutes to read it, okay? If you choose to invest your time in the assessment, that will take you about 45 minutes of undivided attention. But it's not a lightweight deal. You get back an 18 to 20 page document. It's a sincere, detailed thing. I use it with high level executives. I use it with pre, -pre, -pre employment screening. It's the real deal. If you go through those steps and read the book and take the assessment and you come back and get that thing for a latte, I will go over it with you. Okay, and talk to you about what that assessment says and what it means and what you need. You have to meet me at Lamangelo's and buy me a latte. Okay, that's my that's my offer to you. So I, I have some books in the back. I have some copies on CD as well. I have some here. I'll be happy to trade. Thank you guys.